today I will show you how to make the CRT effect. Yo, it's Povikas here, and real quick, I want to let you know that I have recently launched my povikas.com website, in which I have video editing assets, like presets, overlays, and so on, and I'd really recommend to check it out, but anyways, let's begin. Alright guys, so the first thing you want to do is press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer, and now we can press here to turn this to half or third, this is basically our quality. I recommend having the CRT in third or quarter quality, and now let's add an optional effect, which is signal. This is a plugin. So for those of you who have it, I really recommend to add it because it really damages the whole look. And I like to press on turn on and off and also tape errors. I just like to turn the, both of these off and you can already see the look is kind of crazy. And what I actually like to do is make the cutoff filter to like the complete maximum at uh, 1 million or whatever that number is. I don't even know. And I also like to make the signal amplification to zero here. I like to turn the chroma noise off just completely to zero. And I like to make the chroma loss to 0 0.4. And that looks amazing. And now let's add S scan lines. Now this is a sapphire plugin. You also don't really need to have this but I do like how it enhances the look. We will later on use grid to make the CRT look a bit more CRT-ish. I guess I don't know how to say it. And I like to make the lines frequency to 138 here. Already looks very dope. Now let's add warp. Let's go to warp style and make it to fisheye and make the bend to somewhere like 10 but you can make it lower or you cannot even have it. I just like how it bends it a bit uh, forward just like in CRT TVs. Now let's add sjpeg down. Damage. This is also not super needed. It just damages the look a bit more. You can just damage the look with core quality if you want. Uh, but I like to actually have it here and I like to make the quality to 0 0.3. Now let's add fast box blur and uh, let's make the blur radius to one. Now let's add CC lens. Uh, let's make the size to like 235 and the convergence to minus 175. Now let's add grid. Uh, make the size from width and height sliders, make the width to 3, the height to 5, the border to 1, color to dark, and blending mode to hard light. Now it's already very dark and uh, I do like how this looks already, but we can keep adding more actually. So now we can add S flicker. And here I like to make the amplitude to kind of high to like 0 0.37. Now let's add transform. And let's make the scale to like 120. Perfect. Now let's add levels. Uh, this is very optional, by the way, but I like to make the input black to 10.2, just to make it a bit darker. And the last effect we'll add is optional as well, but deep glow. Now I do like having glow on uh, CRTs. Now, of course, you can see this is too glowy to have it just on default. So I like to make the exposure kind of low to like 0 0.12. You might even want to make it lower, but I just like having it glow like this. Uh, I think it looks amazing. Of course, you don't need to have it. You can add like different glows or you can just not have any glows at all. And now we can actually save this as a preset. So we can press Control A, go to animation, save animation preset. And here we can call it like CRT preset. And let's also name it third, just to remember that like the quality is third. Or we can actually make the quality to quarter or half. I can show you how it looks on other qualities, but uh, beware that if your clip is a bit too damaged or too low of a resolution, you might want to not have it on third, but like on half or full. This is how it looks on full, actually. It is still a pretty cool look, I'm not gonna lie. This is how it looks on half, also pretty cool. And this is how it looks on quarter, very damaged, might be a bit too damaged. Another thing I actually like to do here is press Ctrl to Y, and I like to add motion tile. And let's make the output to width to 75. But of course you don't need to do this. I, I just like to have it as an extra thing, or you can make the output width to 80. It doesn't really matter much. And whenever you want to have this effect in your videos, you will want to render out the parts where you want it to be with CRT on third quality. So for example, like you can press B. Let's just say we want to render this one clip out before this clip and press N. And then you would have to go to composition, add to render queue, go to best settings and make the resolution to third or whatever you had it. I had it third. So let's go to third, press OK and go to lossless and check on resize and then just render out to whatever you want and press render and then just add it here. And then you can use the full if you want. I want to tell you that I also have an opium presets pack, which can enhance these looks quite a lot or add Add to these looks. So let's turn it back to third quality. The Open Breezes pack is like a dark grunge pack, but it also has these like similar to CRT effects. I kind of want to show you these. So like if you type opium and you can, for example, add opium 11 below this one and look how it enhances.
enhances the whole look. Now it's like a purple CRT because this is how it looked before. This is just look by itself. I think that is an amazing look, but if you add it below the CRT, this is how it looks. This works with a lot of these OPM presets. Most of these OPM presets are just very good on their own. Like this piece is very good on, on its own as well. For example, you can try like OPM 14. Uh, now I think it looks cooler without the CRT. It will just look like this. So yeah, if you guys want to enhance your looks, make sure to check out the OPM presets pack. I also have a $5 discount code, which is called Povicas. Use it to save $5 off on the OPM presets pack. But yeah, guys, that's about it for the video. Uh, make sure to check out povicas.com. But anyways, guys, it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See ya.